Feather is a game about flying, exploration, and most importantly, relaxation. There are no enemies or threats, and the only objective is to flap around a peaceful island and let the calming music and colorful graphics wash away the stress of the real world. Yeah, that may be soothing and therapeutic to some, but not me. Instead of being won over by the beautiful scenery, I kept waiting for something interesting to happen. Guys, I think there might be something wrong with me. You take control of a bird flying over what appears to be a deserted island. There are rocky cliffs, mountainsides, lush forests, and temples below, and the bird is free to explore its surroundings as they see fit. With the exception of not needing to eat or sleep, the bird is not unique in any way. It just flies around the island listening to ambient music and exploring the surroundings. Now, to reiterate what I said at the top, there are no enemies here and there's never any combat. There also isn't a story, at least in a conventional sense. You can piece together a narrative based on the long-forgotten pipes, ancient ruins, and old architecture. But look, it's entirely up to the player to interpret what it means. The goal, if there is one, is to fly around the island and just explore its many secrets. Though, look, there's never actually anything pushing you to do any of that. Probably the best thing I can say about Feather is that it's gorgeous. The island Samurai Punk has constructed is stunning, and I love the use of color in the varied landscapes. In fact, I love all of the presentation, including the music. There are these large structures that allow you to change between different songs. And let me tell you, they're the highlight of the experience. The music is nice and soothing, and it reminds me a lot of, like, Seeger Rose B-sides. The problem is, there just isn't a whole lot to do in this world. If the goal is to explore, then I wish the developers would have given us more paths to go on. There are a few hidden, out-of-the-way spots tucked away on the island, including a cavernous underground system, but it won't take long before it feels like you've seen and done everything. And since the only thing the bird can interact with are wind chimes and wild berries, I had a hard time staying interested in the island. I mean, look, it could be that Feather's relaxing charm is simply lost on me, not unlike an ASMR video. I have no problem believing that there are people who can fly over the roaring rapids and be swept away by the zen-like ambiance. The description explains that each element of the island responds to your presence with a hum, tone, and rhythm to connect you to the world. I wanted to feel that connection with the island, but the only thing I felt was just extreme boredom. Look, I could see Feather being a fun sandbox mode in a more fleshed out game. Normally, you'd expect the usual flying game cliches like flapping through hoops and racing around landmarks. I can respect that the developers didn't want to go in that direction and instead chose to create a less traditional flying simulator that is all about exploration. But when it comes down to it, I want to fly through hoops. I want there to be more to the game than just exploration. And even as a form of relaxation, Feather feels limited. It's not just that there isn't much to interact with, but also that the island itself doesn't change all that much. I kept waiting for the game to mix things up with heavy winds or a lightning storm. It would have been nice to see the seasons affect the color and the landscape change over time. I would have loved to have seen wild animals or maybe people discovering the island. There's a lot you can do with the idea and still retain the focus on exploration. And yet, we didn't get any of that in this game. Oh well, at least the music's good. With no story or combat, Feather won't be for everybody. But even as a game about exploration and relaxation, Samurai Punk's newest flight simulator comes up short. The problem is that there isn't enough to do or see on the island. We're stuck exploring a lifeless world where nothing changes and the only thing to do is bump into wind chimes. Gorgeous graphics and outstanding music can't save Feather from being a complete snooze. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now here's the question I have for you. What game do you play when you need to relax? I'm not just talking about playing for fun, but something that you load up when you actually need to chill out. I have to say, Rock Band continues to be my go-to, and I gotta say, I love that they're still supporting it with music. Let me see your picks in the comments below. 
Hey, did you know it's my birthday today? It's true. That may mean that this short review of Feather is all you get because I'm busy celebrating. Or maybe there's a second review today. I guess you'll just have to wait and find out, huh? In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.